So, AWS decided to take a little nap recently. And by little nap, I mean it accidentally threw half the internet off the face of the planet. Banks? Gone. Games? Gone. Your friend's startup that runs entirely on AWS? Yeah, also gone. Meanwhile, somewhere in Virginia, a single AWS engineer was probably whispering, please don't let this be my commit. Okay, jokes aside, here's what actually happened. At around 7-Eleven AM GMT, AWS's main data center in Virginia decided to spice things up with a technical update. This update affected DynamoDB, one of AWS's core database services that basically stores everyone's precious data. So, AWS pushed an update to DynamoDB's API system, and somewhere in that process, they broke something called DNS. If you don't know what DNS is, it's basically the internet's phone book. It tells your computer where to find stuff like, hey, dynamodb.us, east1.amazon.aws.com lives over here. But because of that update, the phone book got deleted. So apps were like, where's DynamoDB? And the internet was like, who's DynamoDB? Which, as you can imagine, led to a lot of chaos. Once DynamoDB went down, other AWS services started falling like dominoes. It's said that in total, around 142 services were affected. By 10.11 AM GMT, Amazon fixed the issue and said everything was back to normal. Except for a small backlog of messages, which is corporate speak for we're still sweeping the mess under the rug. So yeah, the entire internet broke because one update went rogue. Next time your website goes down, just say, oh yeah, must be global AWS outage. Totally not my code. And remember, when AWS sneezes, the internet catches a cold.